this know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue in the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Zola Levin presents with Miles and Catherine Weiss. Shalom and welcome to our program. I'm Miles Weiss. And I'm Catherine Weiss and we have a wonderful program for you today. A man of God for 20 years of been standing with Israel. It's our privilege to, sh to share his story with you today. You know, we are so grateful when we run into a kindred spirit, we meet someone who's got the same heart, same understanding, and just a great reach into the land and into the church. So stay tuned for our interview with Dr. Robert Mawiri. So when we go back to biblical Christianity, biblical strategy, biblical ways of really embracing everyone, yes, bringing them because he is a father to all of us, yeah. born again to be one family, one body. Yes. So we have been seeing great miracles as we work with the Palestinian people and the Jewish people because God does not discriminate. Amen. For insightful perspectives on Israel and Bible prophecy, ask for our free monthly newsletter, The Levitt Letter. At levitt.com you can read the newsletter, watch the TV program, or visit our online store. Stay current with us on social media via Facebook and Twitter. Come with us on a tour of Israel or Petra, or a cruise to Greece and Ephesus. Please contact us for more information. Shalom and welcome back. We are so thrilled today to have with us Dr. Robert Mawiri. And I want to tell you, I'm so excited about his book, The Global Dilemma. It is about the future of the church in relation to Israel. This is an important book mm. for everyone to read. Doctor, thank you for being with us. We're so glad to meet so a kindred spirit. So blessed to meet you. Thank you for inviting me. It's a great honor to be here, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you, your, your listeners. Yes, well, we, I know you're a man who hears from God because you named two of your sons, Jonathan and Stephen, and that's the name of our children. <laughs> so we know that, but even more than that, no, there's yeah. a great story about you uh, hearing from the Lord a word both for Benjamin Netanyahu and Ariel Sharon. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Your journey of faith. Right, God still speaks, you know, ah. and he spoke to me, he said, go and see Benjamin Netanyahu and tell him not to uh, negotiate land for peace mm. right. because the land belongs to the Lord. And this was during his first administration. Yes, and uh, I told him and uh, of course he didn't receive it. Mm. As a matter of fact, he has got a great sense of humor. He said to me, have you not read in the Bible that we stone our prophets? <laughs> <laughs> he was challenging that already. Yeah. Right. And um, he came to Camp David and his government collapsed. Yes. Then he said, Robert, come and talk to me. Wow. wow. I want to hear more. Wow. wow. And as a result, I have spoken to him. I told him he's going to be prime minister again at a very critical time. And the first time was to teach him that Israel does not exist because of the resolutions of the United Nations, Resolution 242, 181, but they exist because God said right. in His Word, I will gather you from the nations yes. mm -hmm. and you will restore the ancient places and all the ancient foundations are in the West Bank, Jerusalem, Shiloh, Bethlehem, they are all in the West Bank and God says you will come back from the nations to restore those ancient foundations. That's right, and the That's prophet said never to be lifted out again. Right. Never exactly, to be taken out. because God wants to get his people back into the land knowing that the nations of the world will challenge him yes. mm -hmm. because they think uh, there is an injustice being done with the Palestinians, but the Palestinian issue has been resolved. Yes. God said to, to Abraham, Abraham said, God, what about my son Ishmael? Mm -hmm. And God said, I'll give them 12 nations. Yes all the oil, yes. all the money, yes. but the land belongs to Isaac. Wow. Absolutely. So, I know. will bless Ishmael, but my covenant is with Isaac. Exactly. So has God cheated the, the Palestinian people, the Arab people? No, He has blessed them. He answered Abraham's prayer. Yes. yes. So they are blessed. Yes. But the covenant, the land belongs to Isaac. Wow. Eternal covenant that cannot be broken. Yes. That's why 
land for peace is not uh, good for America because those who curse Israel will be cursed. Mm. Right, right. Yes. Genesis 12, 3, if you bless Israel, you shall be blessed. If you curse Israel, you shall be cursed. And you've experienced the blessing of God and the faith of God to, to stand with Israel. You know, I think if you love the Bible, you'll love the land of Israel. Well, the thing that <laughs> you have to, to, to realize that God is still the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. He's not the Holy One of America. Mm. Uh. Replacement theology says God has replaced the Jewish people, mm. but God is not a son of man that you change. Mm -hmm. he, this is an eternal covenant. God is still the Holy One of Israel. He still blesses Israel, protects Israel. He that keepeth Israel neither sleeps yes. nor slumbers. Right. So God Israel. is watching over Israel. That's right. Awesome. That's awesome. right. We're seeing that play out in the world today as the nations are preparing for that confrontation. We know that God is going to watch over Israel, continue right. to do that. In your journey, Robert, you uh, have found some very dear friends along the way. Pastor Bentley, I think, in San Diego is one of them. Tell us a little bit about that relationship. Well, that relationship was sent to me by God, and it was an amazing uh, uh, encounter. First of all, he loved Israel, but he, he didn't want to be engaged mm -hmm. to step into the story mm -hmm. and be part of what God is doing in Israel. He thought we wow. pray for Israel, that's all we do. Right. And right. he heard my friend Bruce telling him, no, Robert says we have to stand with them, walk with them, help them be part of this story, the yes. prophetic fulfillment, because Israel exists as a prophetic miracle. God right. is fulfilling prophecy by bringing his people back. And it's a great honor to be part of that prophetic journey with, right. the, with the people of God. And I, I said to him, I need you to be part of this uh, support of Israel. He said, you mean we support secular Jews? Yes, yeah. I said, yes. He says, you want me to go tell my pastors that we're going to raise money to support secular Jews? I said, yes. He said, what, how, how do you tell people that? I said, I'll give you a sign because wow. they, uh, they, they, they were not going to buy it. He says, they're not going right, to buy that. Right. Uh, you know, we can pray for the Messianic congregations and other things, but mm -hmm. to support the city of Ariel, mm -hmm. we can do that. Mm -hmm. I said, here is what you tell them. Tell them that if they write a check, he says, how much money do you need to, for me to be part of this? I said, $50,000. He said, $50,000. I said, yeah, you pay to play. <laughs> 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 and uh, he said, how do I get my pastors to agree to this? I said, this will be what you tell them. Tell them that this, to write the check, $50,000, yes. and put it aside. Mm -hmm. Now, that Sunday, you're going to double the, 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 the offering. Right. It's going to be more than any other offering you have ever received. Wow. Then you shall know the Lord God has sent me, mm -hmm. and that shall be a sign to them. He says, oh, okay, mm -hmm. I, th I think we can do that. Mm -hmm. So he told his pastors, well, Robert says this shall be a sign that those who bless Israel will be blessed. We're going to write this check and put it aside. Now... We'll take the offering and we'll count the offering same day. Then I'll call Robert and tell him yes or no. <laughs> so they, 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 they called me and said, Robert, it's amazing. Right. The right. offering doubled. Right. right. And we, all the pastors were watching being counted and it doubled. Wow. He says, when, when do you need this $50,000? I said, just send it to, 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 to Israel. He says, we will send one of the pastors directly to Ariel to deliver the check. Wow. And that's what they did. Tell well, us know, about the work in Ariel. Let, so <laughs> let me just talk to our, our viewers right now. Because yes. often we think of just saved and unsaved. But God is dealing with three groups of people. Right. You know, in 1 Corinthians 10, 32, it talks about give no offense to the Jew to the Gentile or yes. to the church of God. And God has a covenant with the Jews that is irrevocable, yes. even in their state of being restored to him. Yes. And that's what our pastor is doing. He's standing with the Jewish people. Yes. He's standing with God's irrevocable covenant. And we're seeing God's miracle power come alive in people in Ariel. I've been to Ariel. It's You've amazing been there. It's a, you know? what the young people, they do for Joshua's camp, or they call yeah. it Joshua's camp or something, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. As a matter of fact, we, we help turn Ariel from a regular city into yeah. a smart city mm -hmm. and Amazing. raise all the money and um, put the computers and just made them the leading smart city in the world. Wow. Right. And all that just part of blessing Israel. Yes. And one of the most amazing things, I'll tell you this miracle. Yeah. Uh, when we started 
transforming Ariel into the leading smart city. Right. We needed the money. Right. And <laughs> this is so funny. There was a man come to my meeting. Um, he didn't believe in God, and he didn't believe in listening to black people. Ooh. So his friend wow. brought him to the meeting, and he got mad. And he told me when he was leaving, I'm a redneck, and I hate you kind of people. Wow. And oh I, I, didn't, I didn't like anything That's to do with nice. you. So he went playing golf with my friend. Mm. Halfway th through playing golf, he says, give me the, the phone number of that n <gasps> <laughs> So he says, oh, he's a man of God. Don't do that. He says, I'll give it to me. So he calls me, says, Robert, I I'm the redneck. That was in the meeting. I said, okay. He said, I'm, I can't play my game. <gasps> All I'm thinking is born again stuff, born again, born again. What is born again? So I lead him to the Lord. Ah, oh my goodness. And five o'clock, the same guy calls me, says, you mentioned something about what you're doing in Israel, in Ariel. Do you need mobilization funds? I said, yes. He says, how much is that? I said, $250,000. He says, do you, if you can meet me at this place, do you mind I give you the check? <laughs> Not so, at all. so I went, I got my $250,000 for the feasibility. Wonderful. After that, I get a call from the Prime Minister's office, Benjamin Netanyahu, says, meet me in Hollywood, the big conference. I go there and I'm the only Gentile. Wait. And Benjamin <laughs> Netanyahu says, Dr. Robert Mawiri is building a leading smart city with my mayor, Ron Nachman, here. We are pleased to see the church and the Gentiles engaging with us in fulfilling biblical prophecy wow. that Beautiful. the Jews will come back. Mm -hmm. And that we are back wow. because we're waiting for the Messiah. He's becoming a man of wisdom because Absolutely. he's learning along the way from when exactly. you started bringing those words yes. to him. Exactly. He's been studying the Bible with his son. He's been learning. Exactly. And now he's a much more humble and he's the right man for the hour. He's an amazing man. Mm -hmm. He is an anointed man like yes. David. Yes. Right. He has got the wisdom of Solomon. Right. He, is, he is God's man right now as a leader in the world. Yeah. He's the only leader in the he's world. He's a statesman. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. we're calling for our viewers to pray for Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes. Yes. because he is the spokesman for the Bible today. Yes. I believe that, Miles. Yeah. He's, he's been studying mm -hmm. and he's been speaking. He, spoke, he spoke to us yes. when we were there in yes. Israel a couple months ago. Yes. Yeah. Now, by contrast, yeah. you also brought a word and a warning to Ariel Sharon about the land, didn't you? Oh. I did. Sobering. God, uh, God said, go back to uh, Israel and speak to Ariel Sharon and tell him that in six months he will be prime minister. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know how to meet him. God got everything. When he tells you something, it's prepared, prepared, it's done. <laughs> so I go to Israel oh and I get a phone call to meet Ariel Sharon uh, at the library. And I have about 50 people with me. Hmm. So we all go together to the library and I say to Ariel Sharon, the Lord has sent me to tell you you're going to be prime minister in six months. He said, uh, I'm about to be indicted on war crimes. Mm -hmm. My political future is over. Mm -hmm. I said, but this shall be a sign to you. You will not go to Hague. You are going to be prime minister. Mm. But when you become prime minister, honor the covenant that God made with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Mm. God will defend the territorial integrity of his land. Yes. Yes. So you never negotiate land for peace. Yes. Obey the Lord and you will bless you. He said, I will read this. I gave him all the scriptures about the, the, uh, the return of the Jews, yes. the redemption as they call it. Yes. And I said, these are the scriptures that are being fulfilled right now. Yes. And this is why you should honor the Lord. He said, I will look at them and read them every day. If I ever become prime minister, I said, but here this, the Lord told me that the day you disobey his word, like in ancient times, he's going to strike you. So please, please, when he makes you prime minister, mm. do not remove the Jews from the land. Wow. And the day he did that, that's the day that he had a heart wow. attack. That's yeah. so sobering for all of us. Yeah, we were meeting in 2005 in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. with some major leaders to try to get that message to Ariel Sharon and to George Bush at the time. Do not do this. Do not give away Gaza. It will become a terror state. Don't do it. And we know the rest is history. We're calling on all of you to stand for Israel and to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and to know that you know that Jeremiah, God has a great answer for us in his word, doesn't yes. he? Jeremiah 33, 3, call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. We'll be back after this.
Hello, I'm Wayne Fournier, and I've been a supporter of Zola Levitt Ministries for many years. If you see this outreach as worthy of your financial support, please call us at 1-800-WONDERS. Visit us online at levitt.com or write to us at Zola, Box 12, 268, Dallas, Texas, 75225. We depend on your financial sustenance. Thank you. When we're there, when we're there in the land of Zion, next year in Jerusalem, the Shana Haba'a, the Yerushalayim. Next year in Jerusalem, O Lord will be with you and no more tears. O Lord, thy kingdom come, thy will be done next year. The Shana Haba'a, the Yerushalayim. Next year in Jerusalem, the Shana Haba'a, the Yerushalayim. Next year in Jerusalem. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this. I know we are enjoying speaking with the kindred spirit, Robert Mawiri. You know, if you've been watching these programs for any length of time, you know that Catherine and myself were very interested in ministering according to the scripture of Ephesians 2.14 right. and following, to the one new man, Jews and Gentiles together in Messiah. Accordingly, we've been very connected with the Arab Christians in Israel, and we want to minister to, we want to do good to all men, especially those of the household of faith. So for us, according to Galatians 6.10, we've been led to support the body in Israel, which includes Jews and Arabs. And Robert, I know that you've been doing the same. Tell us a little bit about your work with the one new man. Well, God so loved the world. The yes. world includes the Palestinians, the, the Israelis, and everybody. Yes. And we've been really engaged in helping mm. the Palestinian people, the yes. Palestinian church, yes. right. uh, because God has called them into the one new man, yes. Jew and Gentile right. yes. together. Yes. This is the biblical church. Yes. This yes. is the, the will of God. This is the, 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 the pattern of the early church. Mm. They, they were, yeah, Jews and Gentiles working together, the Hebraic Christianity. I believe that we must return to our Hebraic foundations. Absolutely. Amen. When the church does that, revival will break out. Yes. Right. Because he's a covenant keeping God. Yes. And he said to the Jew first. Yes. So when we go back to biblical Christianity, biblical strategy, biblical ways of really embracing everyone. Yes. Uh, bringing them because he is a father to all of us, Amen. born again to be one family, one body. Yes. So we have been seeing great miracles as right. we work with the Palestinian people and the Jewish people because God does not discriminate. Amen. I know your hearts are burning because of these truths that we're bringing to you because it's God's heart to reach all the world for His namesake. Yes. You know, it's the Word of God that renews our minds so we see from heaven's perspective and not earth's plane. And so we also want to take a moment and, and pray for America. We know America is in this time of, of real um, challenge. challenge. So can you give our viewers some wisdom of what we should be doing at this time? I believe what we should be doing right now is to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, mm. to pray for the government in Israel, yes. to pray for the people of Israel, yes. to pray for our government mm. to honor the Holy Covenant. God said, I'll give the land to Isaac. Eternal covenant that cannot be broken. God is not a man that is changing his mind. They say, well, it's been 2,000 years ago or 3,000 years ago. No, God said it, that settles it. Mm. The, the land has been given to Isaac. It belongs to Isaac. God has blessed that. As I said, God has blessed the Palestinian people with yes. both nations and 300 times more land. Yes. That's how faithful, that's how good he is, that's how much he loves the Palestinian people yes. and the Arab people. But now the issue is, uh, are we going to honor yes. the word of God? Mm. I was at Capitol Hill. Uh, during the Bush administration. Yes. Uh, we spent several hours with Senator Brownback going through all the scriptures and mm -hmm. he told me, I, we, I see it now. Mm. The roadmap will not succeed under the Bush administration because we want America to be blessed. It was all about the blessings. If you bless Israel, you'll be blessed. blessed. You curse Israel, you'll be cursed. He said, we care much for our people. We're oh. not going to let this roadmap continue because it's cursing our nation and our people. Wow, wow. that's a revelation. Mm -hmm. 
that's the revelation that's needed with yeah. this present administration, with yeah. every government in the world, yes. and every church, every yeah. believer yeah. must pray for the leadership to go back to what God said in his word, because the roadmap to peace is the Bible. Exactly. God said it, that settles it. Exactly. You, you cannot change that. I've been really been enjoying reading Robert's book, and uh, what you'll see in here are some fantastic, simple bullet lists at the end of the book regarding reasons to stand with Israel, reasons why replacement theology will not work, and the challenge that's going to come to us as the nations if we do not receive these truths. And I think right now, America, we need a renaissance. We need a, a, something strong to happen here. Absolutely. Uh, you know the answer to the global situation, economic situation, is recognizing what God said concerning Israel. Mm. Because he has not given up on his people. Replacement theology must be replaced with biblical theology, yes. which says God is eternal. God chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God we worship is the Holy One of Israel. Yes. Wow. So if we are worshiping the Holy One of Israel and rejecting Israel, God is like, what are you doing? Jesus was a Jew. He spoke Hebrew. He <laughs> lived in a Hebrew family. <laughs> and he's coming back still the son of David. Yes. So how can we say we're going to take Jesus and reject the, the, the people that God chose? His I wanna family. Tell you, I want to tell you what Benjamin Netanyahu said to me. First time I met him. He said to me, you Christians, you love dead Jews. You don't like us leaving Jews, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who wow, are in the land. that's yes. a challenge. You're in love with all the dead Jews. That's why you come on your, on your tours to go to those ancient places right. because you're only in love with dead Jews. Mm -hmm. How about you love us, the children of those Jews? That's good. That's beautiful. Uh, God gave us the theme of when we bring people over to see the ancient rocks but meet the living stones. Right. And we want to do both. We want to, with secular and, and saved, we want to meet all of them, mix it up with the people, see what the needs are today. And you've been a forerunner in that. We have been so blessed to be a forerunner in blessing Israel mm. and raising resources for Israel, for Aria, which is yes. bringing the Jews from the nations. Yes. After 2,000 years of saying, next year in Jerusalem, next year in Jerusalem, right, every suddenly we, 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 we help them, we finance them to fly back. That's a miracle. And it's like going to heaven for them. <laughs> I've washed their faces. They bow down and wash with them and thank God. And we just see them, their tears running down yes. in appreciation yes. that finally they're in the land that God yes. gave them. Yes. Do you know the final battle on earth? That's the right. battle of Armageddon yes. is when the Gentiles, the nations of the world, because of replacement theology, mm -hmm. will go against Israel and gather together to destroy Israel, to violate the holy covenant. Mm -hmm. God will split the heavens open, right. and Jesus will come back mm -hmm. to stop the army, the armies of the world yes. gather together in the valley of, of Megiddo. Yes. And he will say, no, I'm honoring my covenant with Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, he's coming back to defend the territorial integrity of the land of Israel. Amen. Right. That is the biggest thing right now, the next great event that we're looking at, because right now we are seeing the nations of the world wanting to divide Israel, right. take Temple Mount and give it away. Yes. God says, I'll put my name here forever. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, we don't, dis we disregard that. We don't recognize that. But God Almighty, He will fight for Himself when we don't do what He told us. That's, That's right. That's why every believer must pray for the peace of Jerusalem and our leaders not yeah. to violate the holy covenant that He made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Exactly. Then our nations will be blessed. This is a perfect place for us to close this program. Dr. Mawiri, Robert, thank you so thank much. You for so being much. Thank you so much. for inviting me. Thank you for stirring our hearts You're to stand welcome. with Israel, You're to welcome. pray thank with you. Israel. We'll be back after this. Show your support for Israel with the Pro-Israel Package. For your gift of $48 or more, you'll receive a 3 foot by 5 foot flag of Israel, four Pro-Israel buttons, a Pray for the Peace of Jerusalem bumper sticker, Israel's Right to the Land booklet, a Jerusalem Journey Stone, 
Broken Branches by Zola Levin, and a two-flag lapel pin. Call and ask for the Pro-Israel Package or visit us at levitt.com. I know you enjoyed our interview. Uh, you know, Ecclesiastes 8.1 says, Mi kecham umi yodea keser dabar hachat, which is Hebrew for who is a wise man? A man's wisdom makes his face to shine. Absolutely. And when we saw the revelation of the centrality of Israel right. coming through our brother, Dr. Mawiri, we really understand that uh, God is going to back us up when we believe what right. the Word says. Yeah, and it's not without challenge, you know, because yes. whenever you obey God and His voice, yes. the enemy would want to resist. But God is not a man that He should lie, and He will continually provide if we take the stand that what He's calling us to stand for. Mm -hmm. You know, no other place in Scripture is God called us to pray for any place but Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And so that is why we always end our show with Psalm 122. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Yes. Peace within thy walls and prosperity within your palaces. Mm. That's a lot of promise. Mm. And I know that you've experienced it and we've experienced yes. it. And our guest today has certainly experienced it. If you want to learn more about him, go to see him, his website at WRNO Radio. You'll learn more about his ministry. The things that he's doing in Israel are phenomenal because he's living the word of that song. Yes. And that is why we always end our program with this admonishment, this exhortation, this hope. Shalom, shalom, Yerushalayim. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Our monthly newsletter, The Levitt Letter, is free and full of insightful articles and news commentary from a messianic perspective. Visit Levitt.com to find our newsletter, along with current and past programs, our television schedule, and much more. Don't forget to order this week's resource by calling 1-800-WONDERS, or you can purchase it from our catalog at Levitt.com. Your donations to Zola Levitt Ministries help these organizations bless Israel. Please remember, Zola Levitt Ministries depends on tax-deductible donations from viewers like you.